This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with Ewa Ritu and Ife Oluwa What's going on? We're good. How you doing? We're good. Last Monday. How was your weekend? Amazing. Restful. Sweet. That was... That's How was that rain? <laughs> hmm? Ha. I went swimming. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, but I swam with my car, though, so I didn't need no, you know... What, what, you swam what, with your what car? What the guys yeah, yeah, what the guys wear, um, ladies wear bikini, what the guys wear, wear anything. Shut like up. <laughs> so I saw my car, I didn't need the shorts. My car was no, man, the rain was. Well, did you go out? Yeah. I did though, I even shared the video. Also for food. Uh, okay, let me tell you the idea. Right, eh? yeah. I called one of those popular restaurants mm. because it was raining and I couldn't, it was flooded everywhere. And then I called and I said I wanted a bar and the, um, Fisherman okra soup mm -hmm. and everything, and then they texted me back because it was um, the WhatsApp, WhatsApp number. You just order, you place mm -hmm. exactly what you want, and then they send back to you and tell you that okay, you get your food in 30 minutes, or they'll give you an um, estimated time normally. And they replied me saying, um, "It's flooded everywhere. When the flood goes down, we'll deliver." <laughs> I was like, eh? That was the yeah, idea. I was like, everyone helped those who helped themselves. I just went down market street to I mean, cook. I could not even step out. I could do everything. Even. I was just eating anything at home because you can't, you can't step out. Even my don't tell them what you ate. <laughs> I mean, that's how they are. Oh, you were there too. You were there too. <laughs> Actually, but I can imagine. Anyway, moving on. Um, Grudges among musicians uh, is not healthy for music industry. This is coming from P-Man president, Dr. Obi Okudeli Kasmia, who is popularly known as um, Vumbalistic <laughs> Uncle P. Um, he spoke with the news agency of Nigeria, NAN, in Lagos. He said, and I quote, Grudges among musicians is not healthy for our industry and will only create further resentment in, in their relationships as musicians and may affect what we present or or represent to the public. Being emotionally immature when composing or writing your songs means you cannot control your emotions or reactions towards your colleagues. Hmm. Okay, Ife? I dare to differ because um, if we're talking about the hip hop culture and we're talking about, I'm not talking about music generally, I'm focusing on hip hop hip -hop. right now. If we're talking about that, obviously you have competitors, you have competition, you have to show that I'm better than this person. You have to Was the hip hop culture always be that way? Is mm -hmm. that really a culture? Yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think that's a question we're going to be asking in our reports, which we'll be doing shortly. I think, ah, oh, did I just let the cut out mm -hmm. of the bag? But um, yeah, I think that's a question we would need to find out if it's actually um, necessary for our hip-hop um, artists to go against each other. Mm -hmm. But I understand where it's coming from, but at the same time, I dare to differ. I say sometimes this beef is all, it, it's actually good for the artist in the sense that... People when, get to talk about them. Yeah, people get to talk about them. They get to sell more records. They get more attention. They get more... As long as it doesn't become violent, like the case of Tupac and Biggie. And, and I think that's where he's coming from. Mm. Let's take... Um, Niger, Niger, we don't get that mind. Ha, you never can... Oh, they say they are dad fans that can actually, like, odd themselves because they are so-called celebrities. Yeah, like Naramali and Rugged Man in London. Yeah. F well, that's, like, rumored. <laughs> But yeah, something like that. You mm. get like, I mean, there are diehard fans that are ready to go any length to um, support their um, celebrity and all of that. I understand where it's coming from, but like, if I said, it's not something we can take out of the um, music industry. Mm. It will always be there, right? Mm. Because mm. people will always beef each other. But like, it's just, I feel like they should just keep it really low. That, that's what I was saying. Emma and Vector, I, they can continue um, their rap, the scene and all of that, but they should just let us know that it's not that deep. Because mm. if it's that deep, that's when people will take it that deep. But if it's just about entertaining people, like, okay, I'm just better when it comes to rap and it's not so personal, but their own is already so personal. Because he used yeah. the, um, them as an example, kind of, that mm. you're already getting so personal. Do you get like. Especially Vector. I think Vector is very emotional. I saw someone, I, I don't know, is that the real Kubana handle saying they were going to drop money? for them to have a face off. Is um, Willie, what, what's his name again? Willie XO. Willie XO, yeah. yeah. 20 mm. million naira. Then he said, if you want to hard, you can text them and they will have a face off at the hotel. But there'll be tickets. Nigga wants to make money too. Uh, Brother wants to make money. Brother okay. wants to make money. <laughs> <laughs> um, off, off, I mean, going away from MI and Vector, I feel like you cannot tell people not to put their emotions into their creativity. It doesn't. Mm. No, but if it, you it listen to, it doesn't really work that way. It, it's most of the times you write from 
where your emotions, uh, where it is drifting to. So you're heartbroken, you're writing a heartbroken song. You're sad, you're writing a sad song. You're happy, you're writing a happy song. Or you see them talking about Sami Gem, money past you, you're a hater. At the end of the day, whatever you're going through will reflect in your creativity. Mm -hmm. So I don't think there's a, a way to separate them, but like you said, it just have to be healthy enough for mm. them to know it is not so personal to get violent. Now, um, where um, emotions can come in, face me when you're trying to diss me. Mm. Now, Vector went off, which is what happened in the case of Pusha T and um, Drake, when we all didn't even know that Drake had a child with a prostitute, yeah, right? Yeah, we didn't even get to talk about um, Vector's reply on Friday because we yeah. had a guest, yeah. So um, we all didn't know about Drake's child with a prostitute, but Pushati came out and he unveiled that. Mm -hmm. Now, that was kind of like unnecessary, which was what made Kanye West squash the beef, like, mm -hmm. you know, you stepped out of line. Mm -hmm. That was personal information. It's mm -hmm. not something you should reveal. Now, we're talking about Jesse Jags. You're dissing M.I. Mm. What's Jesse Jags on? Jesse Jags is doing in, his thing. We haven't even heard. No, from... no, 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 no. Um, I'm not trying to be Vector spokesman now, but I feel like when M.I. Um, brought out his own year, he said a lot of things that I mean would have, Directly touched, at Vector. Would have touched Vector personally. So I don't think that you don't, I, I feel like you don't tell people how to um, express their grief. Mm. You can't, you can't oh, tell so him that. Oh, so it's a grief. This, <laughs> Yeah, if you yeah, say that way, it's oh, yeah, if that's oh, how you want to put it, it. like when, when, when Vector came to reply, <laughs> nobody was telling Vector that these are the do's and don'ts of the um, rap, whatever, or this he is what you should know. say, he this claims is to what be the you best rapper say. Not the best rapper. Yeah. I mean, I feel no. like he just came to address issues mm. that Vector caught that, okay, in quote and unquote, these are the people you've helped, that's but like these people are not. So I think, since the bro code, because you I really don't think that in this case, in this Vector and MIC, about, no I'm, talk, I'm not talking yet. about Vector and Emma. I'm talking about Vector and Jesse Jags. The fact that Jesse Jags is your friend, you know about my struggle, and then you're trying to diss Elsie. And because I'm Elsie's co anchor you now start coming against What Elsie. if I gave um, you the permission? Am, am I the one um, dissing you now? Okay, so Elsie. now what that if we are I talking Elsie about this, so Elsie will lie. give you the permission to this. Now that I'm talking about, yeah, talking because what if um, Mi has not done um, him well? I mean, okay, you two have said your own now. Since we are talking about the reply, for me, I feel. I listened to the reply once, twice. I also listened to it twice because it was so good. I wanted to know if my feelings would change. And for me, I think Vector is just small. Your feelings can change Very because small. you're M.I.'s really fan. No, 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 because... Mm, I know you no. said no, 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 but, no, but I know that you guys listen are just to the, a diehard. Listen okay, to the so you know, I'm not his diehard in my mind. He's just really small. Do you mind. know what? Sorry. I think when he was listening to M.I., M.I. saw the future. He took a pen and paper and was jotting down. M.I. said... Um, to talk. Then reply. Him, I said, I live with my ex-girlfriend. Okay, we need to move on. I don't think there's any problem with him addressing every issue. And then when he was not writing his own rap, he now put that note, eh, side by side, and write. And was not replying. Okay, I have a girl. Okay, and so, so what's, what's wrong with that? I really that? don't live with my girlfriend. But if if I, if I was wrong with that, what I mean, addressing that? every issue M I spoke about that you people in court took upon yourself that M I has killed Vector, no, and it's coming out to address all the work. Vector, Vector has started it. Right? I know, that. I don't have a problem with that. With Vector starting, okay, I'm just saying that with you guys. I think that was very emotional. I'm very emotional. What? I'm just saying what I feel about it. Does she have a crush on him too? I don't know, maybe. Oh, but you, you know what? Can you, you people not just see this as this is what you think about it and this is why I think about it? Yeah, yeah but you, you are, you are getting more emotional than we two are. Actually, you are the one being I'm not being emotional. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just Victor, saying what fun, right. sorry. But really, that's Well, all. if that's what you want to say, Vector, you have a fan. Mm. So what? Up now. Tell him we, to stop we're, being we're small minded. Stop anyway, being small minded. I'll tell him for you. He is not small minded. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. DMX. Um, he checks himself into rehab um, and cancels um, his concert. He has been candid about his struggles with drug addiction, and in 2017, DMX cancelled a series of gigs in order to re-enter a rehabilitation facility. He's committed to putting family and sobriety first. So, um, considering that we just celebrated them world. Mental Health Day last mm. week, right? So um, I think it's good that he's um, taking his health serious. This is not just about your physical health, it's your mental health. And once you feel you're not up to it or facing the crowd, like sometimes I, I, I imagine what celebrities, not like 
not like people like me, like celebrities, celebrities, those that have millions of people looking up to them every day, how they actually cope. Because I feel like there's another level of mental stress. And I understand where he's coming from. And I think he used to use way back. And he's Doesn't also... He used to use... <laughs> he's a user. He's battling with um, drug yeah, addiction. So and that's, yeah, yeah, he's he battling with... Yeah. stop now and then relapse. Mm -hmm. Stop now, I mean, relapse. It's not stop an now, easy relapse. thing. We all know how... It's a struggle. Yeah, it's a serious struggle full of Especially pain. Cocaine. And, you know, it's, I, I'm happy that it's a different thing for you to have a problem mm -hmm. and accepting that you have a problem. Mm -hmm. And I like that um, it's been um, a real man to accept that he has this problem and he's checking himself back in. He has been there in and out, but it's not working. But I, I know that it's not. There are a lot of people that will even join different groups and mm -hmm. still mm -hmm. it's not working. It's not an easy thing. It's not a day job. It's not. Sometimes it's not even a year job. Sometimes they never get over it. Mm. You know, but it's good that he has it's identified his problem and is trying to be good. When he comes out, we'll be waiting for new music for him. No worry. We have his back. Mm. It's a struggle, like you all said. Um, cocaine addiction is nothing to play with, and um, a heart just goes out to him. I hope this time he finally gets closure on mm. all the cocaine addiction, and then it comes out being a better person. Just stick to your. Um, okay, I shouldn't be advocating for that. It's time for a quick <laughs> break. For we'll return, Cardi B and Offset are on some couple goals vibe. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Alibaba. Right now? Oh, <laughs> you? And Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from <laughs> Malawi. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Cardi B cries as she gets Titanic Diamond Ring on Siva Plata from Offset on her birthday. The female rapper who turned 27 on Friday, October 11, cried as she was gifted with two diamond rings, one of which was a Titanic <laughs> ring with a gigantic heart diamond. Oh, <sighs> I saw the video. I mean, she's just... Um, She's it's a vibe. She's a whole yeah. vibe on her own, right? But I'm happy for them. I'm happy that they were able to go through what they did at the time when, when she, I think she caught Offset cheating. Mm -hmm. So, and then they are back here. And I think Offset is looking handsome these days. I don't know, but... Has he ever been ugly? Uh, yeah, like, that no, he wasn't. he wasn't this fine. Are you serious? No, he wasn't. Maybe he's not he, your type, he looks, but he has yeah, always been good looking mm. anyways. There's this... Uh, Okay, I can't explain it, but I think it looks. You good. know, you like it older men, so God it won't, it won't, it, it, it won't <laughs> fall in your category. <laughs> <laughs> so it won't fall in your category. So you I don't understand. Maybe RMD will look good, or of course, RMD looks better. Of course, RMD looks better. Look better. Yes. I know you what know. you're trying to do, but I'm not going to spill anything. Please, what well, you ask? <laughs> I'm happy for them, like you said, that they were able to go um, go through all that they went through then and now they are back here. Like, for me, I've always said it, that cheating is not a deal breaker for me, mm -hmm. so Aww. maybe it's not a deal breaker for her. See where they are so now. Imagine if, no, no, no. It, it, imagine if she had given it up It wasn't then. a deal breaker for her. It was, <coughs> but <coughs> he had to show that he was sorry. It was and I he don't begged. know how many men in the industry that would do what Offset did when... He did what he did. Any like, man that loves that woman would do uh, what Offset did. Okay. No, when she said that, I like the fact that she pointed out in the industry. In the industry. Do you understand? Your pride, your reputation. That's why I feel like Offset, if there's any man in that industry that loves a woman, I mean, he can do anything. Offset is supposed to be a gangster rapper. He's not supposed to understand? come and beg. Gangsters love the most. Okay, you just don't want to agree that he actually put in effort to show that that's he was what, really sorry. No, I'm not saying, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. He did put effort. I'm just saying that any man that loves a woman <coughs> put that effort. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say anymore. Yeah, because there really, are. There, are, there are men that, it doesn't mean that they don't love you, but they don't just know how to put that effort or they cannot bring themselves 
to put that effort. And they don't love you, no. Especially when no, they don't want to make themselves that. look like, oh, I'm a soft tea. So and they, they don't love me, no. Wow. Okay. But, okay, back to offset. They'll be texting you, mm -hmm. but they will not do it in public. Ha. They'll be coming to your okay. house. And it doesn't they mean they're not sorry. They're really sorry. They're really they sorry, but public. because they want to keep a reputation. But offset went all I still all feel like out. if they love you enough, they will do it for you. Okay. okay. If uh, you are not, <laughs> <laughs> you have to give us some okay vibes today. Okay. But, so, what do you think about this story? I mean, I mean, every, I'm happy about it. I'm excited for them. I'm mm -hmm. happy that their love is blooming every day, and it's a good thing. I just love the rings, man. Like, wow, wow. That's Diamonds. all I can say. Wow. All right, moving on to the next story. Cyprus police shut down Rema's first international performance. Um, the video was shared on social media, and um, I think I like the way he managed himself. His performance was um, was on his performance on stage was suddenly disrupted, and the Cyprus police came into the arena. I think they shut down the sound. But the part that got me was when he kept on, even when his guys were telling him mm. to come out. Not even just, his guys, those are the cops. Who <laughs> oh, <laughs> those were the cops, yeah, and he was just he was trying to make them sing, and they all started singing, and that was when Acapella. he then. You know, I think that that that's that shows that's some level of um, experience that you wouldn't expect or display of experience I wouldn't expect from a Rema. Because Rema is just coming into the industry. You would probably oh, imagine you know, mm. you probably imagine that he will be thrown off, he will feel like, Okay, what's happening right now? Where's Don Jazzy? You know, like but and he really composed really himself. No, no, he's been doing but he's been doing this in Nigeria, mm -hmm. come on. Yeah, and but if you can do not this in Nigeria, this you can do it anywhere. Uh, you, do you know how it is to please Nigerian fans? Well, I know what I'd say because uh -huh. it, it's not about pleasing now, is that there's something wrong. If I can carry a Nigerian crowd along then please take me anywhere in the world. You guys be vibe. Do you understand? Okay. Take me anywhere in the world. And I feel like it's just vibe. real love. When your fans really love you, I mean, they would do anything to keep you happy. It, when I saw the video, I was almost crying because it was, for me, I, in my head, I'm like, this boy is so young. At that oh, point, what happened over so the confused. weekend? You've been so emotional. <laughs> God. Eh? Okay, Tell us, rest. what happened? Nothing. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, go on. Well, mm. I, I'm just happy mm -hmm. that um, that happened because I can imagine if the police just came in and everything just got scattered, it must have, it will get to him really hard. I mean, he's a very young boy that is just mm -hmm. trying to build his life mm -hmm. and all this drama is already happening to him. But with what he saw that night, that's like a real ginger for him that hmm, there are people out there that really love me and would stay with me through anything. And mm -hmm. I'm really excited for him, even though it was a bad news when he came <laughs> out of the news. Have you seen, have you heard this news? Son? The moment I see you in the half nine power, lady, oh, my lady. That's Rema's new vibe. You mm. guys should go cop that. That's, okay. a, that's a jam out mm. there. So Rema, Rema is a very good artist, and I like the fact that um, this happened because this just shows that, look, I've gotten to a level right now that my music has crossed worldwide, mm -hmm. you get? Because if they can be doing that in Cyprus and people are feeling your jam and then you, you know, that's the deal right there. So th this is not a loss. This is a win as far as yeah. I'm concerned. Yeah. This. All right, so that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can always um, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa to catch up on all our exclusive content and even watch this episode all over again. You can also watch Tea Time in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ewa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Shankaye and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and be good.